Welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, I entered Romany Ranch and I managed to find my horse, who doesn't seem to miss me much. Yeah, I love you too, fine. And I also helped, or agreed to help Romany fend off some aliens that are come trying to steal the cows, so I'm waiting for her to come out this door. She said the operation starts at 2 a.m. So it's almost 2 a.m., so all I gotta do is wait. Are you home? Knock, knock. Anyway, knock on a wooden door with a sword. That'll work out well. One, One backflip. Oh, there she is. Talk to me. It's almost time. You take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch your map carefully. Okay, whatever happens, do not let them get into the barn. They'll come from behind the barn, too, so watch out. If you run out of arrows, I'll have crates battle. Okay. Uh, why do these aliens even want cows anyway? What the heck? What kind of South Park ca alien cows are these? Jeez. Okay. I'll put on the bunny hood so I can run faster. Woo! I find it easier not to ride a pona. I think that's what she's hinting at. Ride a pona or go around shooting the aliens. But really, I'm just gonna make a perimeter around the barn. And wear my bunny hood so I can move faster. That's the best approach I know of to do. It's usually always worked for me. Anyway, I guess I'll start with this guy. He's getting... I think he's the closest right now. Alright. Yeah, you can see on the map, the aliens are little white dots. You don't want them to touch the barn. Or bad things will happen. And you just shoot them. That's pretty much it. So, really? We're having aliens in Zelda games now? Really? Okay. Okay. Whatever. I'll go with it. Next thing you know, they're gonna add pirates to the next game. <sighs> oh wait, they did. Dang it. It's okay, I, I don't care. Pirates and aliens don't bother me. I don't even care. It's a game. It's fun. I play it. I don't care if there's aliens in the Zelda world. It's already a fantasy world. Why not throw in some sci-fi? Why not? Yeah, this dog will kind of help you spot aliens. It'll run to the ones that are closest. So it'll give you kind of a warning. But this is pretty simple with the bunny hood. Just run around, shoot, and... I mean, you could play the inverted song of time and slow time down, but... I mean, it does slow the aliens, but then you have to... This takes longer to do, and it's just annoying more tedious, so... I just keep time normal. And whatever you do, don't leave the ranch, says Romany. Okay, well I didn't... They just respawn, like, in a hurry, too. Alright, this guy sometimes creeps up pretty fast. That's a tricky one. Yeah, deal with him. And these aliens... I don't know if they move the same speed, or if they sometimes they get faster, or what. I mean, they seem awfully quick. Whatever. Shoot this guy again, and then I'll shoot you again. And then I gotta run around and shoot this guy, because he's gonna be creeping up again. I should be almost finished. How long does this go? It's just about morning. We've got almost everything taken care of. Yeah. Oh god, he was really close. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I think I might have almost failed that. This game's tricky dicky. That's it. I won! I look ridiculous with this hood on. We did it. We won! Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks to. Here's Romany's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip, take a big goat like you do here at the ranch. Oh, believe me, I will. In Super Smash Brothers Melee. That'll be my taunt. So, I got the fourth bottle. Woo! See you later, little hero. Awesome. I might as well play this song a double time so I can make it morning. No point sticking around here in the dark. Come on. I should say, it's sort of semi dawn. Come on. I'm in a hurry game. Oh, I got the hiccups. There you go. Oh. There you go. Excuse me. Now, Romany and Crimea, where are they? Are they in here? I can't remember. Yes, they are. They're in the burn. Oh, boy. Hello. 
Romany is going to take our note to Clock Town, too. You're looking into the place. The cows would be all alone otherwise. Yeah, leave a little girl to do all that responsibility, sheesh. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon to town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving about 6 o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you like. Well, I will. I'll do that. I'm going to have to play the song of double time again. So I can join you on your epic quest to market. The Legend of Zelda, the Milk Wagon. I buy it. Come on, let's go. Come on. I gotta, I gotta ride on the wagon. On the Milk Bay Wagon. Where? There she is. If you wait too long, I think she leaves without you. So be careful. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? Yeah. And she's going to talk my ear off as we go. That's great. Now I'm kind of lonely. I welcome company. Well, let's go. As I stand awkwardly back here. she got a mule, not a horse. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things have been getting unstable lately. The cows always seem bothered and frowns and I'm finding broken bottles everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. My sister Romani has been worried too. She's practicing using a bow. She says it's to stop the ghosts. Say, what are the townsfolk saying about that moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? In town, I have a friend. Her name is Anju. Hanju, the day after tomorrow is our wedding. I wonder if that will fall, that thing. Man, you really talk fast, Kramia. Good gosh. Still gonna keep the dialogue. <laughs> Still on the bandwagon. Kind of reminds me of the Twilight Princess when we were having to escort people to places. What? The road? Boy, get your bow ready. So somehow the Gorman twins have blocked off the main road with the steel fence. Okay. I guess it's too difficult to try to move. <laughs> Screw logic. First milk road is blocked by a boulder and now... We have to take this detour through ugly country. Yeah, it looks horrible. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try and get us through as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. You understand? Yeah, I can do it. Thanks, I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll give a big thanks for you. Woo! Yeah, we're going through the farm ghetto, apparently. Awesome. All right. Got to defend the milk. So these people should look familiar. I raced them in the last episode. Same douchebags. I really like how Crimea. It looks like she's using a steering wheel to steer the wagon. It looks like some kind of wooden steering wheel. That's so weird. Whatever. I don't know. I'm just gonna defend the wagon. Yeah, you want to shoot them when they scream. It's like their battle cry. We want milk. I didn't realize milk was so precious. Okay. Well, oh yeah. It's like, back it up. Back it up. Oh. And these are some very tough people. I, you know, I, you would think arrows would kill them, but no, they can take as many hits as necessary. And they're not giving up. Even when I'm pointing a bow at them, they're armed with pitchforks. My gosh, these guys are ballsy. I shot him right in the neck. He's still alive. Well, I guess if you're invincible and immortal, you have nothing to fear. I mean, my arrows, which would normally kill a man, is just kind of hindering him slightly. Hey, back it up. You're too close. Uh, he's screaming. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you gonna scream too? Huh? Huh? Make my day, punk. Oh, that's it. Apparently, I won. And that's how we won the game. Yep. I just defeated the game, folks. It's over. Look at that steering wheel. What the crap? 
I'm confused. Mr. Barnton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You are pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. I got get another mask. This one lets me get into that bar in Clocktown. By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. Yep. I was an adult once. And then I did not take an arrow to the knee. I just put a sword back in a pedestal. So I'm going to go back in Clock Town here. I'd like to check out the milk bar. It opens at 10. And, oh, there's the other brother, the good one, who's joined the circus. Okay. He's going to go in the milk bar. I can't remember if I can go in there or not. I'm not going to try. I'm just going to wait till 10 o'clock when the bar is officially supposed to open. Yeah, this is a very classy town, folks. They let children into bars just because they have the membership mask. <laughs> That's good enough for me. The bartender asks no questions. It's almost time. It's almost time. It's time. Let's try open it. Is that welcome? Please show proof of membership. Well, I've got it. Ah, oh, you are a member. Please come in. I'll just kind of show what's in here real quick. I do want to kind of return to the ranch and show something else off. There's Toto. I'll help him with something later. And he is going to get drunk. Hey, you. Milk. It's milk. Can you get tips or something like milk? Yeah, I can spike it with liquor. Vodka, whatever. Wow, what a horrible place. I'll talk to this guy. Welcome! I'll have a drink! Will it be? Regular milk now. Now the Chateau Romany gives you infinite magic until you play the Song of Time. Nope. If I touch him without the mask, he'd be like, put your mask back on! I don't want any milk. I don't need anything. I'm off that stuff. I'm clean. I've been sober for half a day. So I'm gonna warp back to the ranch. Here we go! Because there's something... I do really want to show off before I end the episode. Something very emotionally touching. It affected me. Oh, all the feels. You'll know when you see it. Blech. I guess I could put my Goron mask back on to move quicker. Wait, can I... Is it still blocked off? I guess it is. Okay, um, double time. The roof's still blocked off, but I guess that makes sense. That's canon. Don't have a final day, yeah. Now the road should be clear. Here my gird. Well played, game. You were actually making sense, kind of. Okay. Whoop! Rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm going to go on, just passing through. I need to show this off. It's amazing. It's the final day, and look how dark and gloomy things are around here. My gosh. Look that dog is afraid of me as a Goron. I need to... Is Kramia in here? No, no one's in here, so I do need to make it night, actually. Okay, make it night. We're gonna make it night, oh my gosh, it's gonna be night. Come on, I'd like to end the episode soon. I don't have to do this at all, but I want to. Just so you can feel the heaviness that I felt when I first experienced this. You probably know what it is if you played this game, but you know. It's like... Oh, good evening. We're milking the cows tonight. It's Chateau Romany. It's the first time I get to drink it. Until now, my sister always said, wait until you're an adult. But why now? She knows. She knows the world's going to end. You've become an adult now, Romany. I see it in you. I'm acknowledging it. Then, does Romany get a mask too? Well, yes. I'll make one for you. 
Sleep with me in my bed tonight, okay, Romany? Yes, sister. Isn't that depressing? <laughs> she knows the world is going to end. And she's making her little sister sleep with her just to hold her close as they meet the end together. And oh my gosh, rumbles, rumbles. Oh yeah, the world is coming to an end, alright. I mean, how emotionally deep is this? This is the first time I ever experienced something like this in a, probably a video game ever, up until that point. And this is a Zelda game. All the feels. I'm gonna grab this chicken, because this chicken looks delicious. I'm going to throw it over there. It was yummy. Even the chicken's flipping out. That chicken did not like me. Mmm, water. Oh. That water is very, very still. But what can you expect from Nintendo 64 effects? I guess I'll hang out here. It's like, I'm just petting the cow, I'm petting the cow. Oh, I'm stroking the cow. Oh, yeah. Mm. Apparently that's what they consider milking a cow. You just pet it. The cow's looking at, what you looking at, cracker? I'm looking at your nose move. And I'm going to stare at Remini. You're so oblivious. You have no idea what's going to happen. You're all going to die. It looks like the least taking a break. That's not worth it. Okay, they're heading back in. So they kick me out so they can go out. So, see you tomorrow! Oh, so oblivious. She's like, good night, see you tomorrow. Okay. Oh, she knows. She knows. That's horrible. Oh my gosh, all the feels and emotions. Oh, well played, game. Very deep. Make me feel things. Look at that moon. Oh, all is lost. It's all hopeless. Alright. Time to save the world after I shake. Don't worry, guys. It'll all be over soon. I'll make all your problems go away with the song. But yeah, I had to show that off. That was something that just kind of stuck with me in this game. That was one of the most memorable scenes in this game to me. And I'm glad I could share it with you guys. But that should do it for now. So tune in next time as I plot my next move. So have a nice day, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye.